Afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's trading session, the 13th of Jan 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's go to the uh, numbers. Asian markets overnight, we had the uh, the Nikkei uh, up by 0.8%, the Hang Seng up 0.4%, but the Shanghai down uh, on the back of a weaker uh, Chinese exports down at six points, 0 point two percent okay in terms of u.s markets yesterday certainly finished on the weaker side led by uh, concerns uh, or a lack of uh, well led by concerns due to a lack of additional um stimulus or fiscal measures from mr trump okay dollar itself certainly falling due to the reflation trade certainly taking a break or a pause okay and that certainly is allowing the euro and the uh, sterling to move higher and therefore looking for risk aversion in european indices also obviously following through into u.s indices as well so look for certain general risk aversion to come into play okay so the reflation trade certainly is over okay and you are looking for weakness in the uh, in the dollar and therefore looking for uh, the equity certainly to reverse as well okay so certainly keep an eye on especially the nasdaq given the fact that there has been criticism in regards to the pharmaceutical sectors and the biotechs so again all exerting pressure on the nasdaq okay now in terms of european markets economic data out for this morning today uh, really it's been from spain we did have uh, inflation data on the up on the increase from germany so therefore obviously indicating a stronger euro stronger euro hurts exports and therefore looking for risk aversion lower okay now let's look at the technical picture where we stand the german dac certainly has bounced quite sharply the hns formation certainly being negated uh, from uh, the uh, key uh, diagonal uh, trend line but we are looking at this uh, current hns so left shoulder here okay so your head is here you bounced off quite sharply now looking to make this right shoulder and obviously looking to flush so if i take the pivot high okay take it to the pivot low you're currently into that 38 percent resistance you do have an unfilled gap that's been left behind that certainly needs to close so certainly looking at a bearish pattern here on the german dax uh, in terms of the gap uh, you can clearly see the gap from here now okay so uh, let's just quickly draw this in for you you've got the gap okay in terms of diagonals let's just connect the uh, key trend lines here and here so you've got a rising contracting wedge pattern you still have the unfilled gap at 11,650. okay but the gap below is the one that's important from my perspective uh, and that gap certainly will come into play so keep an eye on that gap level there okay obviously looking to close the gap below there is a gap above uh, given the fact that the euro is at 1.0650 it's very hard for the uh, gap above to close okay folks so just bear that in mind okay now in terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. 60 minute chart, the French CAC certainly is into resistance. Daily chart certainly has been showing weakness ever since, so look for a lower low. Okay, 10 minute chart intraday now, looking at potential double top scenario here. If the market does crack high, then you are looking to test that uh, key pivot R3 resistance and then obviously look to move lower. It's all about the gap below. Uh, the support at uh, 4850 certainly is proving to be very solid thus far. Each time we go there, we thrust higher quite impressively. And again, it's all about the gap below. So watch out for the gap below at 4,860, folks, okay? 4,860 gap fill below, okay? In terms of the FTSE 100, uh, given the fact that obviously you have Chinese exports on the decrease, which is not exactly a good sign, okay? The FTSE itself certainly is looking to uh, find a revert or looking to reverse here, folks. Uh, resistance on the 10-minute chart, double top is at the uh, 7,330 zone. 60-minute chart, again, double top scenario, okay whether or not we can hold this double top is a different question altogether but we'll see okay so certainly a double top candidate here at all as well especially given the fact that the euro uh, gbp certainly has started to rise as well uh, daily chart of gbp usd you have the FTSE holding that topping tail at 7328 if we remain below 7328 the FTSE certainly is going to face a lot of turbulence okay so again looking for weakness okay on that note be sure to uh, visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the uh, bonus goodbye now